Hi everyone, this is Syrian Girl. I want to bring your attention back to the forgotten war, Libya, and once again warn you about the terrorists that threaten the world. There's a perception that ISIS is defeated and that it won't return to the time, like in 2016, where there were terrorist attacks happening all over Europe. But the truth is, instead of being defeated, many of them have just been morphed into something else. Turkey's president Erdogan is using them as a foreign legion, a mercenary army. In 2011, NATO allowed Al-Qaeda to take over Libya, which also led to the rise of ISIS. In fact, the Arab Spring had this result across the Middle East. And after Gaddafi's fall, many of those terrorists from Libya and other parts of North Africa were transferred into Syria through the Turkish border to fight against the Syrian government. We all remember when ISIS fighters were openly riding the Istanbul metro. But now the reverse is happening. Terrorists inside Syria from North Africa and Libya are being transferred back the other way. The anti-Assad Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, which the Western media sees as a chief witness when it comes to virtually anything that's happening in Syria, says that 4,000 Tunisian ISIS fighters were brought into Syria by Turkey. 2,500 of them have now been transferred back to North Africa into Libya. On top of that, thousands of Al-Qaeda affiliates have been transferred by airplane to Libya. Both are now acting as Erdogan's mercenary army of terrorists. Erdogan sees himself as the sultan of a new Ottoman Empire. He sees this foreign legion of terrorists as a tool of Turkish expansionism into North Africa. By controlling Libya, he controls the second gateway to Europe and can threaten its security by opening or closing the tap on people smugglers, the same way he's doing on the Greek border. Few people realize that Libya is now experiencing a second civil war between the Islamist GNA and the more secular force run by Haftar, the LNA. Turkey's recent intervention into Libya has prolonged this civil war. Some are saying that Haftar is favored by Israel. However, they forget that Turkey is also allied with Israel. Both sides are a lost cause when it comes to Zionism, I'm afraid. Neither will hold a candle to Gaddafi. But the GNA is the last candle of the Muslim Brotherhood experiment that failed in Syria and Egypt. Syria faces an existential threat from Israel. It has decided it is in its best interest to side with Haftar. If you were on my channel a few months ago, you'll remember I held a watch party for the Russian movie called Shugali about the two Russians who are being held hostage in Libya by terrorists. It's obviously based on a true story that's still currently unfolding and it's left us in a cliffhanger because those guys are still in prison. But apparently they're making a Shugali 2 already. Maybe we'll watch it together and react like we did last time. Already the trailer is out so we can watch that. Ooh, corpse the first second in YouTube will watch this. I did the same thing once in Kosovo. I love how they always portray the Americans as golfing all the time. We really don't know where he's being held now. I didn't take into account that Turkey would help our enemies. You have meeting. I guess the suturers are Turks. It's interesting how they're going to make a whole movie out of this because, you know, the story really hasn't concluded that poor man is well actually two men are still being held hostage I suppose we'll have to wait and see watch out for my next video which will be a long analysis of why Israel was behind the Beirut blast